Hey guys, welcome back to Bows Fan TV, and today we're doing the match reaction to our 2 0 win up in Trotter last night. Um, look, it wasn't our best best performance by by any by any stretch. Um, it was a game where I thought you know Trotter could have easily got something from it had they have maybe just maybe had a bit more of that could have a cutting edge of, uh, in in attack. Um, you know, coming into the game, we probably felt like. It was a good opportunity to get uh, a win after a pretty disappointing result against St. Pat's uh, a couple of weeks back. Um, and, you know, we, we knew that a win would, would, would um, extend our, our lead at the top of the table. And, uh, and going into the game, um, it, it was, it was, we knew it was going to be tight. We knew it was going to be a tough one because Drada, you know, it's, it's a tough place to go to. Um, it's a tight pitch, you know, it can, can, it can really happen. Um, and you know, th at the start of the game, I think it uh, put us under a little bit of pressure early on. They were getting balls into the box, you know, into our striper, you know, who we know was a threat uh, in the air and, and physically as well. And, um, you know, they, they were getting balls into the box, dangerous balls into the box. And, and, and to be fair to Casper and Novak, you know, they, they were dealing with them very well. And look, we, we take the lead, and I think about the 17th minute. Um, you know, James Clark has a shot from outside the box. It's, it's parried out by McCabe. Um, you know, Paddy Kerr gets dead. He cuts inside on his right foot, dribbles into the penalty area, uh, and puts it into the far right hand corner. And we've gone one nil up. It's it's a good goal from Paddy. To be fair to him, you know, that's that's two good goals he scored with his with his, uh, with his weak foot this season. Obviously, he scored that goal against UCD, which was a good one with his right foot, and he, and he did the same last night. Um. And look, you know, we've got one nil up, and even though we haven't started great, you're thinking, you know, that we we can build on this. This is a chance now to, for us to to kick on to sort of wake up a little bit, and and, and we did that, you know. I think um throughout the first half, then I think we we were playing quite well. We had we were having you know decent passes as a play, um you know not quite maybe troubling the uh Colin McCabe enough maybe, but you know we, we had the ball we were passing it a bit well and then you know we head into half time with a one nil lead and, and you're thinking yeah happy days for one nil up but you know we, we want to see more from, from the team. We wanted to see us getting forward more often. Um second half we were paying back a little bit uh, tr throughout the game, particularly the second half. Um, you know, draw that were coming at us, they had your kind of that their physical players were getting up towards the end. Your, uh, you know, your Adam Biegas, your Drapers, you know, you know, you know, you know what they were doing. You know, they were, they were getting the big men up trying to win flick ons and 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 you know they were they were threatening them, I suppose. Um, you know, Tom, who I thought had a good game. Uh, he was coming out and claiming crosses and and you know he was making himself dominant and look, you know. <laughs> It's, it's it's always going to be tough going up there in, in, in difficult away games with a tight pitch and, and, and the lads dug in deep to be fair to them when, even when we were put under the coach um, you know I think certain individuals like said McDonald who I thought was brilliant on the night he's a real terrier in the midfield you know on the ball he's great as well I think he's probably been our best signing so far um, you know he, he's, he's really impressed me in all the games this season um, you know going forward then there was there was a couple of players who maybe could have done a bit better, you know, Mafalabi, who was offside for a lot of, for a lot of the game. I think nearly every time he got the ball, he was offside. But look, it, he's still sort of you know getting into the groove of things, I suppose. Um, you know, he, he's 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 doing everything but scoring really, and that's the unlucky thing for him. Um, you know, he came in with a lot of um. I wouldn't say uh, expectations, but you know he 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 comes in having a good pedigree, being ourselves. They can, and maybe he hasn't quite got going yet. But look, it, it could take him a bit of time. But you know he he wasn't particularly brilliant last night. I don't think. Um, and look, yeah, we're we're, we're holding on. Uh, Brad aren't really showing any signs of you know they're gonna score soon, but they were kind of um. You know, getting forward and you know getting dangerous balls into the box, but they weren't really you know troubling Talbot too much. But then we, we get the ball. I think it's it's Dane Williams sort of tries to play it, tries to play it to um to McDade. Um, McKay comes out and makes a hames of it, and McDade has a, has an easy enough tap in, and then he makes it two nil with the last kick of the game virtually. And yeah, look, even though it's against the runner play, 
we take that any day of the week. Uh, you know, we're two 0 up and, and we've won the game. And look, we didn't make it easy for ourselves. We never really do. Um, but look, it's it's not a huge three points. Not a step in the right direction. Um, you know, you look at you look at the games coming up. You, you know, we've got UCD next week, and then you've got Cork on the bank holiday, and there are two games we're looking at. You know, that's another six points, hopefully. Uh, and I'll look. We don't do things easy way, like I said, but um, you know, it's it's important that we're winning games, even when we're not playing particularly well. Uh, I think that that showed last night. You know, it, it, it has I think in a, in a few games this season where maybe we weren't at our best. But we were still winning, you know. And I think that that was that was another example of it last night. Um, yeah, I think man of the match for me was Adam McDonald. I thought he, he, like I said, he was brilliant. He's just such a handful in the midfield for for teams. He gets stuck in. He's good on the ball. He, he's got everything really, and I think he, he he's been a fantastic, he was a fantastic signing. Um, yeah, look, I think I think look, it's, it's another huge three points. Like we said, he didn't play very well, but look. It's a step in the right direction. We extended our lead at the top of the table, and it's a sign of a of a, of a top class team uh, with a, with a good mentality. When you're going to away games, not being at your best, you know, difficult games, and, and you're still winning. Uh, and look, the team will take confidence from that, and and bring it into the to the games coming up because there's some big games coming up. You know, after UCD and Cork, you know, I think there's Derry Rovers. You know, there's there's games there that could really define our season. Um. And look, yeah, another another brilliant win. Not a great performance, but look, we'll take it, and we, we we keep on moving. We're still top of the table, and yeah, look, let's just let's just hope we keep winning games. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna end the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment down below. What you're thinking heading into the um, and I heading into she's what I'm saying. Uh, what you thought about the game? Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.